Hello friends, this is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going to learn about the grouping uh, tools or grouping commands. Uh, we will learn how to group objects. In complex scenes, uh, it's very useful to group objects because you really want to select them by name or you really want to select them by just one click. Uh, so I'm going to show you uh, what we do in a complex uh, scene as well, a crowded scene. Uh, but first, let's just learn about these tools in, a, uh, in an empty scene. So let's start a new 3ds Max file and start creating some teapots. So I'm going to go to create geometry standard primitives teapot and I'm going to just create two teapots to start with. Okay. And you know that you create them by just clicking and dragging. Okay, uh, now we have two teapots. I want to group these and name these and to be able to select these with one click only. So to select multiple objects, you know that we can just uh, drag a window and go to group, group, to group these. Again, just select these two, go to group, group. And now uh, there is a um, menu that pops up that asks us uh, for a name. So let's name these teapots. Okay. And now you will say, see that if I just uh, deselect these and then click on any of these, you can see that we have selected, uh, selected both of these. Okay. If, you, if I go to the modify tab, you will see that not only the clicked object uh, is selected, but also, uh, but both of these are selected. Okay. The group we created is selected. So we can't see any uh, properties on these objects because they're two separate objects. They are not instanced. So uh, we can change. The properties if i if we want to play with these objects you can go to group ungroup or you can go to open to open this group let's talk about open in a couple of minutes but for now you can just ungroup these and now you have two separate objects again and one thing that uh, group works with real well is the uh, scene explorer tool i, I want to show that to you if i go ahead and name these teapots again I can go to tools scene explorer and right here you can see we we do see all the objects uh, listed in here and the teapots is the uh, group and you can select them separately in here actually uh, not literally select them separately but you can uh, just click on any of these again need to open or ungroup these to be able to select these separately okay so uh, now it doesn't mean that much in a just uh, in a scene that has just two teapots. So let me show this to you in a more crowded scene and then we will come back to learn the rest of the group tools. And I'm going to show you a really cool trick in the end of the lesson uh, because these uh, commands in here are a little bit hard to reach. I'm going to show you how to create a shortcut for this. And uh, this one is uh, I use a lot. So uh, I want you to uh, adapt to that as well. Uh, first, let's go to a crowded scene. Now, this is the scene we have used for the um, corner render lessons in Udemy. You can check them out. Uh, in the, uh, the link will be in the description. And also, I first recommend you to finish these uh, 3ds Max lessons, of course, the modeling lessons, and then we will go ahead and learn how to render stuff. Uh, but first, I recommend you to go through this series. Okay. Now this is a very uh, crowded scene. It's not a. Uh, uh, let me say it's. Uh, I guess a mid crowded scene. It's not very very crowded. Uh, I worked uh, on larger scenes than this, but uh, this is a scene that I utilize group a lot. Okay. I want to show you why and how. Uh, now first, let's uh, go back to our scene. Now there are a lot of different types of objects in here. There are, there are corona scatter objects. There are uh, corona proxies, and Forest pack objects, I guess. No, uh, I, I created these with uh, corner scatter uh, so that you can also follow in the render lesson. Uh, uh, there's a corner sun, a lot of different type of objects. So if I hit, uh, if I go to tool scene explorer, you can see that uh, the list of all the objects in the scene. Okay, and there are some groups in here as well. Uh, I named them uh, a little bit uh, off, but uh, we will name them right now. Now, this, uh, let's talk about these chairs and the uh, cuff table in here. And th these chairs are already grouped, so I'm going to select them and go to group, ungroup, and show you how I group them uh, again. Uh, if you don't have this scene, you don't need to follow this. I'm just trying to communicate a concept to you. So when we go back to the, our empty scene, then uh, you will go on uh, doing the things, uh, steps I or 
retracing the steps uh, I'm making. Uh, but for this, just please just watch and listen. Now, if I hit H, it's really, or if I go to two scene explorer, it's really hard to be able to select this chair uh, just with an easy uh, thing in here. So what I want to do is to group this, okay? I'll hit Alt W to get out of the, uh, the this view in here or minimize this viewport in here. And by the way, in these complexes, there's a really cool trick I do. I do, I select all these objects, hit Alt Q to isolate them and Holding Alt, I'm just keeping subtracting objects from the selection. If I subtract these, hit Alt Q again, subtract these Alt Alt Q again, and again, and uh, I will end up with the uh, things I want uh, to select. Okay, this is a very cool trick, so I recommend you to use this. Now, uh, to group these objects, I'm going to select this chair in here. Go to Group, Group, and name this Chair One. And also, let's just group these as well, and call them Chair Two. And let's group these and call these coffee or maybe small table. I don't know if they are called coffee tables, if they're uh, patio furniture. So let's call them small tables for now. And if I hit end isolate, you, you can see that if I go to tool scene explorers, uh, scene explorer, uh, there are the uh, chairs. And here is the small table. I guess it's already uh, named coffee table. Yeah, uh, I uh, regrouped uh, something inside it. So let's uh, fix this. I'm going to just delete this uh, bracket thing in here. Uh, you will see what it is in a minute. But for now, yeah, now we have the small table in here. So this is a way to organize your stuff and be, uh, be able to select them, isolate them, work on them separately. So this is very cool. So let's delete, uh, go back to our original scene. And let's uh, learn some more comments about these grouping uh, tools and then uh, we will go on to our next lesson. Uh, now let's go to group in here and see what other things we have. We have learned about group and ungroup. These are pr pretty straightforward, I guess. And let's learn about the open uh, command. If I select this and go to group open, you will see a bracket or selection bracket like this. Uh, like just like we saw in the uh, previous scene and this represents the groups uh, group itself if you select this and read the name in here you will see that it's called teapots that's what we named our uh, original group so this is a, an object a placeholder object for the group okay that this represents the group and you can if you move this you will see that all the objects like uh, all the objects that are in this group are linked to this empty placeholder object okay this is how grouping works actually you uh, link uh, we will learn about link in the next lesson uh, a lot more in depth but what link does is it makes the object child of the uh, of another object which will move when it moves which will rotate when it rotates and you can see that these two are child of this placeholder object in here Okay, so this is what open does. You can now select these separately and move them around, as you can see. And you, uh, the group is not, as you can see, uh, deleted or ungrouped or anything. You can go back to group close and recreate the group you uh, have just created. Okay, uh, what this is what open and close does. And let's learn about the attach and detach tools. If I just create something in here and go to group attach and click on this group you can see that we have added that box to this group and also what we can do is if you open this you can select this and go to group detach and this will detach this object from the group you can see that right now we only have two teapots under that group you can also see that a little bit better i guess under here uh, if i attach this you can keep this open by the way and i really recommend you to do that if I attach this to the group, the box is uh, placed under the teapots in here. If I detach it, the box is placed uh, separately uh, from the teapots. And uh, let's look at some more uh, commands in here. Uh, there is one more thing I want to show you and it's the explode tool. Uh, now what explode does is if you have separate subgroups, let me show what I mean with this. Let's say we have two boxes and two teapots and I can just group these as well. 
let's call these boxes and now we can close this you can see that we have two separate groups in here and now I can just select both of these and go to group group and let's call these objects for example whatever and now you have a group called objects and underneath that you have two groups called boxes and teapots if you ungroup this it will explode to two separate groups okay but if I will hit ctrl z to undo what I did again these are called objects as you can see this is a one uh, whole group and uh, but if I explode these then it will explode to individual objects and uh, what explode does is as you can see it explodes all the groups in the selection and uh, it just creates separate objects from each of these uh, real uh, actually separate objects okay so this is the last tool I wanted to show you uh, I want to show you one shortcut and then uh, we will end the lesson uh, what I how I use this uh, these tools is probably you have seen it because I'm a little bit too used to using it like that so I uh, I by mistake I uh, always using the shortcut somehow sometimes so I bet you uh, caught that at some point but I want to I want to show you how I created those shortcuts and I want to show you uh, how you can utilize them as well first let me show the shortcut to you I'm selecting these two holding control I'll right click and here are the group tools in here as you can see if I just click on group I can just name this because it's a little bit um, tedious to go ahead go ahead and click in here and select the uh, tool you want but it's a little bit easier for me to just right, control right click group and name this this is a little bit faster for me if I just want to open this I can just open it if I want to close this I can close it I, if I want to attach something I can attach this to here uh, what I do is I hold control and right click and these are the tools I use you probably you don't have them uh, over there so I'm going to show you how you can place them uh, to your uh, quad menu uh, right now go to customize uh, there's a uh, the first uh, button actually is customize user interface and in here there is a tab called quads and from the right you can see that uh, the control right mouse button uh, this RMB stands for right mouse button and it's called the modeling quad uh, I guess and if I go to here you will see the uh, commands listed under that control right click option and these are group or ungroup group open and they are right here as you can see you don't have them right now I know but let's uh, let me show you how to create them if I go ahead in here and type in group I can just drag it and place it in here and I can right click and delete anything I want from here let me delete all these and just place the group in here um, group attach yes. group close group detach group open and maybe even explode I don't use this that much but and the other command called uh, is called ungroup so let's go over there and place this as well and you can see that now we have group ungroup group attach group detach group open group close I guess I should move them these two up yeah and what you can do is uh, that's really cool is you can save this uh, interface uh, to a place you want you won't forget and whenever you want to load them you can again go ahead and load them from here okay that's very cool right now if I just right, control right click you can see I have all these grouping tools in here grouping comments let's uh, say okay this is uh, all about the group tools uh, I hope you found it useful if you found it useful please hit the like button uh, and subscribe to our channel with the subscribe button and you can also activate the notification bell next to the subscribe uh, subscribe button uh, thanks for listening. See you in the next lesson.